This is Meeting House One's morning meeting area. This space is primarily used for our morning meeting. This is the area that creates opportunities for our class to come together as a community. The pillows allow for a comfortable spot for each child to sit while singing daily songs and hearing stories. The moon meter is here for us to explore how we're feeling throughout the day. What skills do we utilize in our morning meeting area? We utilize cognition, so knowledge of books, learning new songs, making predictions, reflections, developing an understanding of oral and written language. For our social emotional skills, we practice patience, taking turns, attention span, self-awareness, self-regulation, shared interaction with peers and teachers. We practice our physical skills by sitting and body movements during songs and dancing, learning new ASL signs, putting up pictures of friends who are here, awareness of body in relation to those in close proximity. We focus on our language by expanding our vocabulary, sign language, exploring other languages, daily discussions, listening to songs, word plays, rhymes, book, expressive and receptive languages. This is Meeting House Group 2's morning meeting area. In this area, we build friends' creative art skills by imitating parts of songs with words and gestures, taking on pretend roles, and exploring creative movement and dance. For mathematics, we count friends who are here and at home. We recognize patterns in speech, songs, and movements. We build an awareness of shapes and positional language, such as in, on, up, and down. For science, we discuss weather and colors, observations and discussions of new materials, and we make our hypotheses. For social studies, we provide books with culturally diverse photographs and photographs of animals, and we discuss our recognition of self in relation to others. This is Meeting House One's table area. The table is a place for children to gather as a community during meals and activities. Children sit together as they eat or play. So we have our black area that children can play on the carpet, or they can bring the toys over to the table. Teachers, volunteers, and co-op helpers join children at the table and model healthy behaviors while taking part in what's happening at the table. Adults participate in eating snack with children and engaging in conversation. This is a place for storytelling and sharing experiences. Skills that we utilize at the table are cognition for manipulating various utensils and problem solving, social and emotional, so self-help skills, patience, and focusing on our attention span. Physical is getting in and out of our sit, in and out of and sitting in our chairs, picking up food with different hands and finger grasps, manipulating different utensils. We focus on our language skills by expressing our needs and wants through learning new signs or words, practicing using manners, then asking for something more, and dialogue amongst adults and children. This is our black area in Meeting House Pod 2. And during table time, we also explore a wide variety of toys and materials. Friends are invited to bring toys to the table and explore freely as we build our creative play skills by taking part in creative play with our friends. We also use the table area to build mathematic skills, such as counting as milk is poured from a pitcher as an, and as we spoon food from a community bowl. We also explore science as we use our senses to explore our food. And then it also supports our building of social studies skills as we discuss where food comes from and where and how it is made. This is Meeting House Shoe Shelf. The shoe shelf is a place for children, teachers, and parents to store their shoes. The children come here to find their own shoes, to put them away when transitioning to and from the playground. Each child is assisted during this process and encouraged to practice untying their laces, manipulating Velcro straps, and slipping shoes on and off. The skills that we utilize at the shoe shelf is our cognition skill, so figuring out which shoe goes on which foot, and how straps, velcro, and laces work. 
We focus on our social emotional skills by focusing on self-help skills, patience, and problem solving, as well as our physical keeping balance, pulling shoes off, putting their feet into each shoe, pulling off straps, and pulling on the laces. This is the bench that friends sit on when they put on their shoes. We focus on our language by discussing the process of putting on shoes, learning new words in English, Spanish, and ASL, expressing needs, and wants while learning a new skill. We focus on creative arts by singing songs and practicing finger plays while waiting for our turn to put shoes on. We focus on our mathematics by matching shoes, our science by recognizing and discussing body parts like feet and toes, fingers, while tying laces. And we focus on our social studies by demonstrating a basic understanding of a sequence of events. This is our cozy area, which is a nook for children to explore and relax in. Pillows are used to make the space comfortable and inviting. The children can lie down, sit with a story, and enjoy a peaceful moment. The skills that we utilize in our cozy area is our cognition. We focus on problem solving, recognizing safe body movements while entering and exiting the cozy area. We work on our social emotional by practicing sharing spaces with others, developing skills to play independently, and encouraging quiet movement. We focus on our physical by manipulating toys and items while playing and exploring soft textures with the senses. We focus on our language by discussions with teachers and peers, learning new words through books and pretend play. This is our cozy area in Meeting House Pod 2. In this area, we utilize our creative art skills by creating imaginary scenarios, such as turning our cozy area into a train or an airplane. We utilize our mathematics skills by counting and recognizing the maximum number of friends that the cozy area can accommodate at one time. And we utilize our science skills by exploring light and shadow with flashlights when draping a blanket over the cozy area. This is our changing table area. At the changing table, children are changed in a loving and comforting way. Children are told first that they will be changed and are talked through throughout the process. We sing songs to help children feel at ease throughout the changing process. This allows children to not only feel safe and secure, but also start the understanding of the process on why we need to be changed. It works on personal and social skills for self-care, cognitive development of their bowel and urinary control, and language and communication skills. Floor play is essential to child development. This important type of play provides time to explore independently alongside a peer or with an adult. Toys are placed on the floor to encourage exploration and manipulation as well as solving simple cognitive challenges. Floor time serves to strengthen fine and gross motor skills as well as muscles in the neck, arms, back, and legs. Mirrors allow for expansion of self-awareness. Children start to explore with facial expressions and enhance their awareness of their own bodies. This is our beautiful walk to our outside area. We have lots of flowers and friends in the window and a beautiful big green space. At Friend Center, we know that play is a child's work, and we are committed to providing an abundant outdoor play and learning time, and ensure that every child goes outside twice a day, every day, whether rain, shine, snow, or wind. As long as the weather is safe, children have hours of opportunity to run, jump, climb, balance, chase, dig, lift, explore, cultivate, and wonder about the world around them. Here we are walking into our playground area. And this is our fenced in playground area. Not only is outdoor play fun, but it helps children develop and keep them healthy. Research indicates that children remain healthier throughout the winter months when they maintain regular time outdoors, where germs are less likely to spread. Likewise, moving and playing in an outdoor space, children develop their large muscles, core strength, and overall fitness. Even fine muscle development progresses as children collect acorns, create sandbox cities, and wield their creativity with paint on our outdoor easels. At Friend Center, outdoor learning spaces are an extension of our classroom environment and contain similar elements 
as indoor spaces, including areas of dedicated quiet time. So friends can sit on the rocks or around on the logs for their quiet time. There are manipulative exploration, scientific inquiry, dramatic play and big body movement in our sandbox. We have lots of different cooking sand toys. We have lots of logs for friends to explore, balls and crates. We have a mat where children can do more big body play on. We have balls and trucks. We have a large music wall and more trucks and rocks and spaces where friends can play. Children can freely explore these areas. Teachers observe the activities and interests. This information guides the development of our emergent curriculum, where learning plans are developed and based on children's skills and curiosities. At Friend Center, we focus on processed focused art. There's no step-by-step -step instructions. There's no sample for children to follow. There's no right or wrong way to explore and create. The art is focused on the experience and the exploration of techniques, tools, and materials. The art is unique and original, and it is the experience in child's choice. This is some processed art that Meeting House One created together. It was a collaborative piece. Process focus art approaches art like open-ended play. So they use a variety of materials to see what happens and the child leads the art experience. Art should be a joyful experience and let children use paint, colors, and make more and more artwork, along with providing plenty of time for children to carry out their plans and explorations. Through process art, children learn to work on their social and emotional skills they relax, focus, and feel successful and can express their feelings. Children work on their language and literacy skills as they may choose to discuss their art and add print to it. They work on their cognitive skills by compare, predict, plan, and problem solve, as well as their physical skills by using their small mortar skills to paint, write, glue, use clay, or make collages. During process focused art, it's important to say yes to children's ideas, offer new and interesting materials. We can often play classical music in the background, take art materials outside in the natural light. We let children decide if their art goes home or stays in the classroom. It's important to remember that it's the child's art, not ours.